What's up everybody, welcome back to Sick Eric Tech and today we're gonna be quickly doing a fun video. We're gonna be going on over the differences between displays, LCD, PLED, AMOLED, and we're gonna talk about some super AMOLED displays. Now, the differences between all these videos and these displays are pretty significant. Um, we're just gonna be doing this video just for fun. We got the Pixel 7 Pro over here, the Motorola G Stylus 2023, and the LG V60. Now the Pixel 7 Pro is an AMOLED display. The Motorola is an LCD display, and the LG is a PLED display. Now what's the differences? Well, the say for LCD displays, which is on the Motorola, it stands for Liquid Crystal Display, which definitely are my least favorite of these devices. And uh, pretty much it is a backlit display, which means that the whole display lights up, okay? So your true blacks aren't truly black. Yes, the colors and the brightness are there and the viewing angles are quite poor on LCD displays, which is why I do not like them. And they do not give you the option for always on displays and things like that. So that is definitely a bummer for LCD displays. And I really don't like them, but they are the cheapest to have on smartphones. Manufacturers go to these because they are cheaper to make and they are more inexpensive for, you know, your budget smartphones and things like that. Now going on over to OLEDs and now an OLED display, which stands for organic light emitting diode is different from LCDs because this allows each individual uh, pixel to be lit on their own, which gives you better control over all your, you know, pixels and your lighting and things like that. And it also uses less power to consume on OLED. So they are more power efficient and they allow for darker blacks because those pixels get turned off when they are not being used. So I definitely prefer OLED displays over LCD displays. Now an AMOLED display, which is going to be the Pixel 7 Pro over here, stands for Active Matrix Organic Light Emitting Diode, which is an improved version of an OLED display, which means it's a lot more power efficient when using each individual display as compared to an OLED, which the whole entire row of pixels are gonna be turned on and being used. As to an AMOLED display, each pixel is going to be on or off depending on you know what you want for precise control over the display and to give you more power efficiency and just to increase the blackness and the darkness over here, more vibrant colors and true blacks on an AMOLED display. So I definitely prefer AMOLED displays. Now Samsung uses their version of AMOLED displays, which is super AMOLED displays, Pretty much the same thing, just Samsung just adds their tweakness on there to make it look better than any other display out there. And right now they're using their dynamic AMOLED displays just to make things better. And you also get refresh rates and things like that. You get 120 hertz, 144 hertz, or sorry, 120 hertz, and then 60 hertz on the LG V60. So that also has a little bit to play in it, but as far as color wise and things like that, I definitely prefer OLED and AMOLED displays. Now going on over to PLED displays. Now PLED displays are a little bit different. They stand for plastic organic light emitting diodes. And that is what we got here on the LG V60. And that is pretty much, instead of using a glass substrate, they are using a plastic substrate to make things lighter and thinner. Uh, Motorola likes to use PLED, say for the uh, Motorola Edge 30 Fusion and you're using a PLED on the LG V60 just because it is a lighter, you know, substance plastic compared to a full glass. So that is a lot better when it comes down to uh, the thinness of the phone and the weight of a device. So it makes things lighter and PLEDs are a lot more foldable. So you're gonna get PLEDs on your, say your foldable devices, which is more flexible that way it won't end up breaking when you fold it or things like that. They're just a little bit uh, lighter with that plastic rather than using a glass substrate. And like I said, I definitely prefer OLEDs over LCDs just because they look better in my opinion. Now, like I said earlier, Super AMOLED displays 
uh, they're a little bit different when it comes down to things. Um, they're more uh, integrated. They have like a touch sensor directly on the screen, eliminating the need, you know, for another layer of the uh, touch sensitive layer and reduces the thickness of the device as well and the display. So Samsung uses a lot of Super AMOLED displays on their devices as well. So yeah, I definitely prefer AMOLED and OLED displays to any other display just because they just look better and i do not like lcd displays just because you do not get that option for always on displays just because the whole display stays on and i just really don't like that i love you know lg devices and i just like oled p oled and amoled displays more on my devices rather than lcd so hopefully this gives you an idea of the differences between all these different types of displays on smartphones and definitely lcds found on lower end smartphones your budget devices your some even some uh, mid-range devices even come with lcd and ips lcd displays and your more high end are going to have amoled super amoled and p oled displays so which one did you think looked better over here the pixel 7 pro the motorola g stylus 2023 or the lg v60 when it came down to that display comparison and talking about different types of displays and how to understand them that way you know what you're getting when you're purchasing a smartphone and you know exactly what type of display you're getting as well. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That is quite all right. This was just a fun shooting the shit video on displays. And I will see you next time here on the channel. Peace.